Tension is one of those things that also confuses people. And uh, we're going to see if we can demystify it a little bit in today's video. So, what is tension? Well, tension is literally just the force that is transferred uh, through a wire or a piece of string or something like that. That's usually how we define it. What does it look like? Well, let's just say that we have a uh, mass on a piece of string like this. Now, of course, if this has a mass of M, the force pulling downwards, gravity pulls it downwards, is its weight, and that equals mg. So we can say W equals mg. Now, of course, in order for this mass to just be hanging nicely, not accelerating upwards or downwards, then the string must be pulling back upwards with a force that is equals to the weight. And that's what we call our tension. Tension only exists if there's something pulling on the end of the string. And if nothing's accelerating, then of course, the tension is always going to balance that. So in this case, if it's not accelerating, we can literally just say T equals mg. That's nice and easy, isn't it? We're just saying that the tension that's supporting this mass has to be equal to the weight pulling it downwards. But what if we have a uh, tension that's actually resulting in an object actually accelerating? Well, let's say that we've got a lift here. And uh, it's got a couple of people in as well. And uh, this time I'm going to say that the weight is uh, mg. I'm going to give that a weight in a minute. And obviously we've got our tension pulling back upwards again. But what's also happening is that the lift is actually accelerating upwards. This is where people get easily confused, is what is the tension equals to in this case? Well, my rule of thumb is, first of all, what is T if no acceleration? If there's no acceleration, then we know that T, like we just saw, has to be equals to mg. But of course, because we know it's accelerating as well, then obviously it's not going to be just mg, it's going to be more than mg. So therefore we can say that maybe T equals force to balance plus extra force to accelerate. What does it look like in reality? Well, we can say that T equals mg, that's the force needed to balance, plus a bit of extra force to help it accelerate upwards, and that's going to be M A, because from Newton's second law, we know that F equals M A force is proportional to acceleration. And of course, we can factorize this just to have T equals M brackets G plus A. See, it's not really that hard, is it, when you think about it logically? What about if instead of accelerating upwards, the lift is now accelerating downwards? So is tension going to be zero? No, of course it's not, because otherwise that would mean that the lift is in free fall, and that's going to uh, mean that the people inside are going to have a bad day. But we know it is going to be slightly less than mg, because of course it is slackening off a little bit to let it go downwards. So we can put it into words again. We can say T equals force needed balance, that's no acceleration, minus force let off. That's the best way I can put it. So as per usual, T equals mg. But instead of plus ma in this instance, it's actually going to be, yep, you guessed it, minus ma, because we're letting off a little bit of force just to let the lift accelerate downwards a little bit. So again, we can factorize this, T equals M, G minus A. Simple. 